Man, so within the span of five minutes, the Denver Broncos just got hit with two massive pieces of devastating news at the wide receiver position. First, it was announced that Tim Patrick's MRI came back. His Achilles is torn. He's going to be out for the season. That on its own is just devastating. Then, not even five minutes after that gets released, we get hit with this. The Denver Broncos plan to waive wide receiver KJ Hamler today with a non-football injury designation, sources have told Mike Garofolo. Though, if there's good news here, the transaction is procedural and designated with an eye towards bringing him back. Hamler's condition isn't overly serious and he's expected to miss weeks, not months. Gareth Folo continues here that the Broncos needed a roster spot with both KJ Hamler and Tim Patrick now sidelined. Putting him in, putting him on reserve in FI would have knocked him out for the entire season. Waving him leaves open the possibility of his return to the Denver Broncos. He has a chance to be back on the field for the team early in the season. Now, you're probably wondering why this is happening. We just got this update from KJ Hamler on his Instagram account. After feeling some chest pains while working out on the break before camp started, I got everything checked out and was diagnosed with mild heart irritation called pericarditis. So it turns out KJ did not have a setback with his pectoral injury. This was something a lot more serious. I am, a, I am on a great treatment plan with medicine and I'm taking a quick break to get this all taken care of so I can get back to doing what I love. I will be back on the field better and stronger than ever, than ever as soon as possible this season. I feel great physically and this is the most frustrating thing for me to deal with. I know most of you have never heard or know of my story and these past few years what, have been going, what I've been going through on and off the field. So man, there's a tough break for KJ Hamler, dude. An absolutely tough break. But again, if there is any good news here, it's that... The Denver Broncos do have an eye on bringing him back once he does get over this myocarditis. So essentially, the Denver Broncos are waiving him with this non-football injury designation. And he's going to have to sit out for as long as it takes for him to get healthy, plus three weeks. That's per NFL rules. After that point, once he's passed a physical and three weeks have gone by, the Denver Broncos are allowed to sign him back to the active roster. So this is a procedural move. It seems that the Denver Broncos do, in do indeed plan on keeping KJ Hamler around. But this sucks, man, because we got obviously hit with that blow today with Tim Patrick going down with a torn Achilles. Now with KJ Hamler down, you have to wonder what is this going to do for the Denver Broncos wide receiving core? In fact, we come over here and look at our lads. Um, it really strongly appears that guys such as Marquez Callaway and little Jordan Humphrey are going to be the big step-up guys. And then Marvin Mims as well now with KJ Hamler going to be out of the fold for a little while. I now feel like this means that Jalen Virgil is going to make the roster. Um, or, I'm sorry, he's going to make the practice squad. Kendall Hinton's going to be, probably make the practice squad. Same with Brandon Johnson. And I feel like someone like little Jordan Humphrey is probably going to make the active roster now. And... The Denver Broncos definitely got hit with a big blow there with Tim Patrick going down and with KJ Hamler, that just makes it even worse. But if there's any position out there that we could have afforded to absorb this blow at, it's the wide receiving group. All right, Broncos country, I'm curious. How do you guys feel about the news that KJ Hamler and Tim Patrick are both going to be knocked out for a significant period of time, Tim Patrick the whole season? Drop those comments down below, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts on this, as always. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. I would really appreciate it, guys. Those are two free and easy ways to show your support. It helps tell YouTube's algorithm to push us out to fellow members of Broncos country just like you and me. And until next time, guys, this has been another episode of Denver Broncos Syndicate. I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.